Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome once again to BND Live, the Dungeons & Dragons live stream where a group of high school friends attempts to play Dungeons & Dragons remotely via the internet. With us, as always, we have Steven as Fenric the Monk, Aaron as Lily the Fighter, Tim as Twizzard the Wizard, and Chris as Plyus the Cleric. I am Sean, your ever-faithful and humble DM, and this is BND Live. All right, all right. Um, so yeah, let's do a let's do a little recap from last week, shall we? Um, it was the gall the day before the ball, uh, and there was some more planning that occurred. Uh, Twizzard ended up doing some break dancing uh, outside uh, to impress some locals, and uh, also got Swabi to agree to be a bat the next day. Uh, that next day, Detal, the day of the ball, uh, outfits got picked up. Uh, Finistel de Von Kamp. Um, uh, there was also some uh, castle cordials bought and drunk. Uh, Plyus orders a carriage, uh, as Twizzard, of course, transforms Suave into a surprisingly useful giant bat to drop him and Lily off. Uh, you all make it into the ball, past the guards with your forge tickets, uh, and some investigation makes you quite certain that Hildegard is, in fact, Falrith. Uh, investigation with the compass, some discussion with her. Uh, as she tries to lure Lily and Twizzard into a hall with the Queen's Guard, uh, the situation escalates as Fenric and Plyus join the fray. Lily calls her weapons as Finistel and Misty steps over. Lily holds an attack against a guard if it acts uh, aggressive. As Fenric pummels the princess as a tiny silver bell rings out once, twice, three times. Twizzard erects an intellect fortress on himself, Plyus, and Fenric, as Plyus' pet snake makes an appearance. And his strong connection to Mistra manifests his spiritual weapon, despite Hildegard's attempt to unravel his arcane energy. As the spinning weapon moves to attack, we pause, with the familiar phrase, Fascinating. <laughs> Hanging in the air. Let's pick things up. Uh, Plyus, could you please roll an attack for your spiritual weapon? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm, yeah, I can. Uh, all right. Uh, it's the attack roll? Yes. Yes, it is. So here's your spiritual weapon. Oh, yeah, just a quick recap. So let's see. So uh, Lily's back here. Uh, with a guard and uh, Twizzard hiding behind. Uh, we've got a guard here. Uh, you are disguised self as a guard, Plyus. Uh, with Hildegard here. Uh, Finistel just outside. Fenric basically having uh, punched slash kicked open the door there. Uh, and then there's, of course, a ball going on uh, behind you. Uh, as this is all happening within the last, like... 12 to 18 seconds. We got a nat one. All right, so uh, some, you know, the, the, the forcing through the the unraveling, uh, the the uh, counter spell of Hildegard, uh, while you were managed, able to get the spiritual weapon here and have it up, uh, you were unfortunately not able to make the attack with it. Um, I should know this, but a spiritual weapon, that's not a concentration, is it? No. Okay. All right. So that brings us uh, to the top of the round. Um, the duration is one minute. If that, if we're gonna go over that. Okay. Good to know. Yeah. 
Good to know. Um, <laughs> all right. All right. I need a better way to do this. Let's see. Yeah. Um, all right. So, uh, the guard, um, the guard opposite, uh, sees, sees basically a snake appear, uh, and a dude attacking with fists and kicks. Hildegard, and then a spiritual weapon manifests itself and tries to attack. So, uh, he is going to try to attack Fenric. Um, I mean, yeah, right. Is this the guard by the door or the guard by me? No, the guard by you is not. Well, he might do something next, but or she, she might she might do something next. <laughs> yes, thank you. Did we get um? Did we get a separate uh, initiation for my snake? Yeah, that's num That's thirteen. So it goes after Lily before Fenric. Okay, that's correct. Did yeah. we have an initi initiation with the initiative for Finistel, or is she not in yet? Uh, she is. She is. She was with Fenric, right? Well. So you guys sort of got a, basically I did it as a surprise round. Um, yeah, technically, technically she's right before the guards in Falrith. Um, okay. But let me, let me bring up both I've got one in the browser, one in the app, uh, so I can see both of those. Uh, although I still need a guard. Oh gosh, I can't tell which one's Falrith because it looks just like Finistol. <laughs> <laughs> For now, at least. Uh, that may change quickly. Um, all right, hold on one second. Sorry, I've got a. I, 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 uh, I should have had my, my windows better organized, but this will just take a second here. I got a... Uh, hold on one second. All right, forget that. Um, okay, so attacks toward Finric. Wow, that is a nat two. Uh, that is a 14, does that hit? No. Guessing no. All right, the guard near you, Lily, is going to start to race toward the end of the hallway. Do you want an attack of opportunity? It's not, uh, I guess you, your trigger was something hostile. Right. I don't remember if it was hostile toward you or just hostile. I'll, I'll give it to you if you want it. Um, I probably should. I probably should do uh, an attack of opportunity. I just feel like we need to, well, ah, oh, gosh darn it. <laughs> I, I feel like it's not hostile to me. I don't necessarily. Uh, can I? Can I use it? Can I use my quote-unquote attack of opportunity to grapple? Does it have no. to be an attack? No. Okay. Yeah, it has to. It has to be. An it has to be what you held, which was one and a half. Right. Okay. Then I'm I'm gonna have to attack. I know where this is going, and if we don't start 
chopping away. <laughs> All right, go for it. All right. They so, sort of turn uh, to start the run. Now, um, am I allowed to do my dual wield attack? Or is uh, it just a single attack? It is a single attack. Okay. Then I would probably, I guess, let's see here. Her dagger, did you choose what hand each uh, of her items are in? No, not really. I mean, that, no, that's, that's up to you. Okay. Um, well, I'm thinking that her uh, scimitar does a little bit more damage if I roll well. <laughs> kind of. I, I have a feeling that I probably have the scimitar in the right hand and the dagger in the left. I believe that. Yeah, they just sort of into your hand, so whichever yeah. one you choose. Okay. I should probably write it down somewhere. Does it show what hand she has it in? Because <laughs> uh, I'll the, know whatever the character's got. The Lego character has the scimitar in the right hand and the silver dagger plus one in the left hand. Okay, then that's what I'll keep. So I feel like <laughs> it would probably be easier to strike at her with my scimitar. All right, go for it. Roll that attack. Uh, 14. 14 does not hit, or it uh, bounces off the armor, I should say. Okay. All right, uh, they run okay. up. Oh, man. Do they realize, they don't realize that, they don't realize what made the spiritual weapon and they are hard pressed to get to Fenric. So they're gonna actually hold their action. They're gonna stand here right next to this spinning spiritual weapon and hold their action. Uh, for something. Okay. Um, now. All right. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Where are we? Now I'm playing this as if Falrith, basically because you guys had done, uh, because you've been actively preventing uh, his scrying, he is not at all prepared for this battle. So he has these spells prepared that he normally has when he's like doing his infiltration, which is basically what he's been doing for this last week. Nah. Um, Look at us. But that said, uh, he is going to... Command. <laughs> He also is trying to, at least for now, keep up appearances. Must look like a lady. Fair hair. Fair hair. <laughs> Alright, so he is going to. Oh, uh, yeah, this is fascinating. Um, I heard Falrith. All right. Uh, yeah. Let's see. So we're gonna do. Yeah, we're gonna do. Uh, give me. So. Fenric, Finistel, and Polias. Give me wisdom saving throws. Don't forget, uh, hold on. Fortress. I think, yeah. Uh, right, yeah. What is into like what is into like fortress do again? You have uh you have advantage on intelligence, wisdom, and charisma saving throws, and also um resistance to psychic damage. All right. Yeah, it came in handy. How many people did you do? Three. I got a 21. Uh, me. I think, I think I'm so you did Polias himself, Polias, and Fenric. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so yeah, Finistel does not have the benefit of that. Oh, yeah. Uh, I rolled seven. 
Seven. Been, it's not the highest you could have rolled. No, no, there's all these sides that have higher numbers. <laughs> I got a 21. Was that with advantage, Fenric? I, no, no, it was not with advantage. Wait, do you have advantage? Yes. Elias on... and Fenric do. Oh, I have advantage? Oh, and Finnish still busts out the nat 20. Burr, 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 burr. Uh, yeah, so, uh, Polias and Fenric, I, I cast that spell on the three of us that give us uh, advantage. Um, oh, thank God, because now I'm Do I, um, <laughs> can I save it for something later if I don't want to use it right now? No, I think you yeah, always you get always to. You always have it for the next 30 minutes as long as oh, I cool. have concentration. Oh, nice job, dude. Wow, I did better. I got a 25. 25. So, uh... Finished on Plyus, you feel uh, you feel this sort of surreptitious uh, control of your mind, and you shrug it off. Finric, meanwhile, though, uh -oh. um, yeah, you're like, wow, Hildegard is like one of my best friends. Um, am, am I charmed? You're charmed. Okay. Do you have some monk thing that prevents you from being charmed? No, but I do have a monk thing that will stop me from being. That it will, they'll stop it later. But okay. For that one, not. Fair oh, enough. Oh, that that meditation thing that that other monk used. Stillness of mind. Stillness of mind. But as of the moment, I am charmed. All right. I actually, had advantage against being charmed anyway. So, no, because you're an elf. I guess so. Uh, well, that's specifically charm. So intellect fortress is any wisdom or intellect. Is that what it was? Wisdom, intellect, or charisma saving yeah. throw. And resistance to psychic damage. All right. All right, so... It's a better buff. All right. Lily, you're on deck. Finistel is going to... Finistel is just going to Eldritch Blast. Boom. Uh, how many of these does she get? Okay. All right, so she's just going to, like, Eldritch Blast... Uh, that is not enough. Oh, that's enough. Um, oh, terrible. Um, although, hold on a second. So that does, does it really only do one damage? How is that possible to only do one damage? <laughs> I mean, she rolled a one under you ten. But I thought there was some other ability that she had. Hold on, let me just check real quick. Definitely done one damage before. Happens the best of us. I, I don't know how that's possible. I mean, it does, it does 1d10. Yeah. Oh, plus zero? Uh, correct. She has two, uh, okay. she has two beams at her level, but she only does 1d10. Because that's kind of a cantrip, right? But a special thing for walks? Yes. She can cast it at will, so it is effectively a cantrip for her. There are some warlock builds. I think that's not the case, but hers is one where it is the case. Um, so who did she do that one damage to? Oh, to, to Hildegard. Oh, to Hildegard. Uh, which means, actually, we need to do a concentration check, I believe. All right, so I think, uh, Lily, you're up. Okay, well, uh, am I, I mean, I'm definitely close enough to anyone, right? Because everyone's within the my walking distance, 30 feet. Correct, you can, you can get next to anyone you want. All right, I should probably attack the, the one that was running from, is there someone behind me? Is that Twizzard? Yeah, it's Twizzard. <laughs> it's Twizzard. Oh, okay, all right. It's all right. hiding yeah. behind you. <laughs> of course he would be. Um, I mean, I do have more strength than him, don't I? I don't want to get hurt. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to, I guess, go the extra five feet to be in melee. Don't go too far. Okay. All right, easily done. Uh, and then I am going to dual wield attack. And I guess it doesn't matter which one I do first. So here comes dagger. That is an 18. Does that hit? 18 does hit the guard, yes. Okay. 
And so that is... Uh, seven piercing. Okay. And that's just, that's just the dagger. Next we have scimitar. At 17, does that hit? It does, it just hits. Just hits. Actually, that's okay. not true. It, it, it definitely hits. It definitely hits, okay. All right, and so that does six uh, damage. All right, so a total of 13 to that guard? Yep. Okay. And then let me see, do I want to do any second things? Oh, I can attack twice whenever you take the action on your turn. That's my special. So I could do another dagger attack or scimitar attack, right? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to, I guess, slash with my dagger again. It's probably, you know, like a one, two, one. So here comes the dagger, and that's only a nine, so. That does not hit. Okay. All right. Uh, snake is on... Snake is next, and then Finric is on deck. Snake's up? Snake's up. Alright, so she was attacking that guard closer to her, and and I'm the guard on the right? Yes, you're currently this guard here. Right, uh, so I'll have Snake attack the other guard, and I'll do a constricting. Wait, which which guard? The one that Lily attacked, or this or this other guard? The other guard. The other guard. Okay. Yeah. Door. The one by the door. Right. The door guard. Okay. I'd okay. like to constrict so that we can cover his mouth but still allow him to breathe. Through his nose. All right. Right. Through his nose. Very nice. Uh, so is, there, uh, is there a save exactly. involved or what do I have to do? Uh Oh, I don't know. Let's see. You texted it to me, so I'll, I'll look it up. I think it's... um. A uh, constrict is a plus six to hit, so I think I have to just roll hit dice, right? Yeah, d20 plus six. Right. <clears throat> okay, we have got a 20, no, sorry. Oh, 19 plus six, yeah, 25. Yeah, that'll, that'll hit. Okay, so we'll constrict, and then... Um, I think I do a, what does this mean? 13, 2d8 plus 4, bludgeoning damage? Or no? Is it, I think it's just 2d8 plus 4. 2d8 plus 4 for damage? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 13 is his level, maybe? 13. 13 might be his hit points. Oh, uh, 13 is the average of 2d8 plus 4. Oh. But since you're so playing it as a... be 13 or you can roll it. Yeah, you, you should roll it since you're playing the snake. Right. Okay, so 2d8. And at 4, that gives me a total of 9 plus 4 is 13. 13. Okay, so 13 damage. Oh, we both got 13. Nice. Is it Friday nice the 13th? Job. It, it, no, not it. It was last week. It was week. last week. It was last week, yeah. So, uh, the target is grappled, and to escape, uh, there's a there's a DC for escape. But okay. until the grapple ends, the creature is restrained, and the snake can't construct another target. Got it. A strained creature's speed becomes zero, attack rolls have advantage, and the creature's attack rolls have disadvantage. Also, disadvantage on dexterity saves, in case that comes up. Uh, all right. Uh, Finric. Ooh. You're... You love uh, Hildegard. You've got a crush on her. Me? I mean, that's what everyone's saying. I do think that she's pretty charming. Even though she sounds like a man sometimes? 
Well, you know, it's it's just that I don't want like a, like a whiny sound in check. You know, that's just sort of no, yeah, you don't know. You know, not me, like Finric. That's that's sort of his thing. Oh, you know, not you a woman who who who's got some some power. Yeah. Yeah. Little little bass in that. <laughs> <laughs> All that cadence. Um. So I think Finric is going to use his uh, stillness of mind. Okay. <laughs> and to use an action to end uh, the charm effect. All right. And that there's no check; it just happens. Just happens. You can use an action to end one effect on yourself that is causing you to be charmed or frightened. That's pretty good. Yeah. That is pretty good. And you know that you're charmed when you're being charmed. Oh How yeah, you, you definitely know. Possibly use the. Oh, okay. Well, you oh, sorry, you know when it's over, over, but I think the stillness of mind is. Takes that into account, right? I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, it wouldn't make too much sense. Um. So, uh, so cool. Oh, hey, how's it going, guys? Hey, how? Uh, I look up. How tall is this hallway? The uh, hallway? He wants to climb the wall. The hallway is probably only ten feet or so. Okay, I'm gonna stay put for now. Okay. Um, although I'm pretty small. How tall am I? Four. I mean, yeah, you're a you're a halfling. Yeah. 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 You're like four something. Yeah. Yeah. We don't have that access. All right. I'm gonna stay put for now. However, uh, as a bonus action, um, I am going to um, I'm gonna spend a point. No. No. Yes. Yes. What am I doing, Sean? I don't know, man. I got nothing to do. I'm going to spend a point and do patient defense. I'm going to take a dodge action as my bonus action. All right. All right. Uh, Twizzard, you're up. Plyce is on deck. All right. Uh, so how are those guards looking? They each have 13. 13 health? No, no, no. Removed from their health. Neither, okay. is, right. neither is bloodied. That, that, that damage is correct, but neither is bloodied. All right, but there's still being a thorn in our side, right? <laughs> they, they I mean, it. I've got this one grappled, so he's he's pretty. Uh, yeah, next to Lily, I was just I was wondering about just charming them, because it only takes me a second level spell to charm both of them. We got we got to keep hitting Valreth though, because he's gonna come out with some some big guns. Yeah. Uh, I was just trying to get them out of the way. So, should I, I mean, you could try charm him or try try and hit Falrith. I think you should hit Falrith. All right. Magic missiles are a definite hit. Can I charm yeah. him? Yeah, I take all the definite hits. We well, get. I think it's going to be harder to charm Falrith just because he has probably a high wisdom or something like that. So. All right. He probably could easily roll and be and beat your DC. How, how dare you? You think so little of my DC. Okay. I, it's then polymorph him then. Polymorph you. Okay. Um, all right. I'm going to magic missile him then. <laughs> level. Uh, that would be fourth level. Did you already magic missile? No, that's the... Um, oh, the fortress. Yeah. No, that's fifth level. Oh. Uh, what was fourth level? Oh, uh, it was polymorph to turn... To, oh, to, to get a ride in the yes. back. That was necessary. Okay. Totally, totally necessary. Totally necessary. Totally use a spell slot for that. A fourth level spell slot. <laughs> Dude. Hey, if you're gonna go to a ball, you gotta go in style. <laughs> That's what I was hoping he might stay in a bat and be flapping around and could come help us out, but it sounded like that was not an option last week, <laughs> two weeks ago. So, all How right. many fourth level slots do you have? Uh, fourth level? Well, I have one left. Unless you do Magic Missile at a lower version. Well, why would I want to hit him with low balls. Okay. Oh, yeah, I hit him hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. alright. But I always screw this up. Okay, so this one, it doesn't just roll it all for me. It's like one at a time. Right. Yeah. So you get you get to do for every level you get to roll an extra. One, one so it's three darts. First, right. So I'm at four. Yeah, so I get three more. Yeah, yeah so you get a total of six darts. Okay. And you're going to have all six darts going directly to fall right. Well, yes. Okay, so I'll, I'll do the addition for you. All right, there goes one. Ooh, 
Oh yeah, I'm at five already. Okay. So as as the dart flies oh. to Falrith, <laughs> you see a shimmering, and the dart just gets absorbed. Oh great. And Falrith or Hildegard at this point still sort of like looks over her shoulder, and she goes. All right, so he shouldn't even bother to do the other ones. I already cast it. Well, well, I know, but I, I am I am willing to say that you redirect the others if you want. Redirect them to the card. Basically, cast shield, which gives plus five, but also uh, take no. It's so funny. It's like it's it's like it's clearly made. It's like you know plus five bonus AC, including the triggering attack. And you take no damage from magic missile. It's like it's like they uh -oh. knew. It's like it's like thrown in there as like a clear like. That's not boy, right. magic missile always hits. Ah, let's give a level one spell that cancels it. <laughs> now it did use your your arcane knowledge would know that Falrith or Hildegard has used their reaction for this round. So that's something. All right. So after I hit him once, I'm like, aha, aha, aha. <laughs> So then the so, four that he just did would then be going to someone else. So that was my second no. missile. Right. No, the first one gets canceled, but the next two missiles get used somewhere else. Yeah. But okay. Actually, it's the next five. Oh, okay. Yeah, the guards in, guards in some trouble. Okay. All right, so that four will go towards one of the guards. Yes. No, the first four doesn't count. The first four gets sucked. No, no, no. no. He right. did five. Yeah, yeah. It's four, oh, four damage oh. versus four missiles, I think, is the confliction there. Oh, I see. But you have total of five missiles, so, yeah. All right, those two again. So now, one more. So I guess, yeah, which which guards, or, or are you hitting a combination of these two, or what are you doing? Uh, just, I'm hitting the non-grappled guard. With all the others? Yeah. Okay, so tell me, just tell me the total then. Okay. All right, so that that's... Four. Did you do the fifth one? No, I, you did, have a total I did not. Six, so. Okay, we got one more. One more. Oh, one. Are you kidding me? Plus two. All right, so. Four, eight, 12, 14 total. All right, all to his right knee. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. I, right. hate to be, I hate to be mean like that, but. Yeah. Did you see him favoring it? Uh, No, but he should be now. <laughs> Why is my whiteboard marker failing me? Come That's on, white. Use a boogie board. I need a boogie board. Why don't I have a boogie board? <laughs> Anybody oh, know any? Back of that hypnotize me. Anybody know any secret secret methods to re Whoa, reinvigorate a whiteboard marker? Um, sometimes a little bit of rubbing alcohol. Lick the but you kind of got to like, uh, yeah, so you got to right? let it sit. And I think you're supposed to put it in your butt. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yep. Uh, that guard's definitely bloodied, but they're not there. <laughs> that works for all the people that I talk to. Yeah, he's a doctor, so. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can't argue with that. You should Can probably try it that? just to see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. If the crowd <laughs> goes, like, he wouldn't, say, he wouldn't say it if it wasn't like a... I yeah, and four out of five doctors agree. You should put the marker in your butt. I just did it work. Except I, that it's I a brown feel, marker now. I feel <laughs> like anyone who's watching this is taking your advice and, and shoving something up their butt. They might all be doctors. They might. But and I they might all be, hopefully they're all markers. That they put, yeah, right. They put anything They'll up be here. the four out of five doctors that yes. agree. Markers, though, it's a good idea. And you know what, Sean? It like warms it up so that the ink flows more readily. Is that how that works? Yeah, that's, that's, that's works. Great. Do you need to get another marker? And it also prevents anal warts. Just saying. Or, you know, or at least marks them for future <laughs> oh, posterity. Okay. Yeah. It, yeah, it's like it, it's like an arborist, right? Like they like spray paint the trees before they cut them down. You gotta, right. you gotta mark those anal You're warts. just tagging your area. You're all right, all right. I'm sorry. Um... <laughs> Are, have we divulged? Guard is bloodied, but not down. All right. Okay. So then Polias should be up next. Polias, you're up next. I'm up. I cast Spiritual Guardians. Spiritual Guardians? Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Um, level four. <laughs> Boy. 
Boom. What do they look like again? They look like um, devilish cherubs, I think. Devilish cherubs. Devilish cherubs. All right, oh. level four. Yeah. So they're going to flit around me at a distance of 15 feet, which I assume is most of this area we're in. Oh, yeah. Um, I can designate any number of creatures I see to be unaffected, which, of course, is the Atam group. Noted. And the affected creature's speed is halved. And when the creature enters the area for the first time on a turn or starts to turn there, it must make a wisdom saving throw. Circle's actually too big. Why is this circle so big? Have I been using this well, for your the inner circle, right? But you said, is it, oh, is it the radius 15? Uh, let's double check. The, they flit around me. They flit around you to a distance of 15 feet. So 15 foot radius. I think the radius, yeah. Okay. Feet and so yeah, this is correct then. This is this is exactly correct. See, I perfect. I, I knew what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Uh, okay, yeah. Um, sorry, do they do the damage right now or on the person's turn? On the person's turn. Okay. Um, is the inner part of the circle the radius or the outer part? It's the outer part. Oh, cool. Okay. All right, great. Uh, okay, that's my first action. And then we'll do some spiritual weapon for my second action. Sorry, what level did you cast it at? Level four. You got to be kidding me. Hold on a second. <laughs> it's a concentration, by the way. Uh, good to know. Thank you. Um, hold on one second. Oh, no, never mind. Uh, well, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold it. <laughs> We're experiencing technical difficulties. No, it's, 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 never mind, never mind, you're good, you're good. Everything's good. Okay. Uh, uh, spiritual weapon spiritual, coming to attack. Spiritual weapon coming to attack. When you do that, or I guess, yeah, roll the attack first. Spiritual weapon attack is plus something. You should be able to just hit the little button. Yep, I had to find it. Oh dear. All right, that's not going to hit. That's an 11. Uh, give me a wisdom saving throw regardless. Wisdom saving throw regardless. But you got But you have advantage on it. What's that? Oh, advantage? You have advantage because of the Intellect Fortress. Mm. Okay, so advantage is 20. All right. Wow. Uh, oh, and up from 19 and 20. That's pretty good. Two rules. Uh, I have plus seven wisdom, so that helps. You, you, you feel... You feel something from Hildegard. <laughs> But you you shake it off. I'm just gonna put Shook this. It. I'm gonna put these rings around to indicate that you guys have intellect fortress. And is cool. that is that something you have to concentrate on, Twizzard, or is that just on? Yes, I do. Okay. So actually, let me let me put a concentration on you. That's what I'm hiding. <clears throat> do I need a concentration ring too? You do. For you're, my spiritual guardians. You're now concentrating on spiritual guardians. Yeah. Oh my goodness! This is this is getting exciting. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, Finneric and Finistel, um, you notice uh, this guard uh, running toward you, and I guess as soon as they run into the cherubs that are like splitting <laughs> through the wall, um, yeah. roll that damage. I guess. So what happens 
when they enter, if I haven't assigned them as good or bad, do they? Do I have to assign them at that point, or do they? I think you assign who's good when you cast the spell. And everyone else is bad. And everyone else is bad. Okay, good to know. All right, so damage. And this will also hit the two guards that are already in the radius with you too. Oh, and Falrus. I, I well on Falrus' turn, which is next, but yes. Oh, you're, so it hits them on their turn. You're saying oh, it's right, all the guards, the guards are all going at once. I see. Okay, got Correct. it. Okay, uh, so this is a uh, spirit guardian. So I just roll damage then. Forty-eight uh, radiant damage. Oh, is there no? They don't have. To, do they have to do a save or anything? Oh yeah, sorry. Wisdom saving throw. Ooh, that's pretty good. Uh, well done. Let's see if it's, it's, a, it's a 17 plus. No, the 17's good. Okay. So that's for that guard. Let's do this guard. Nat 20. Holy nuts. That's good. Uh, 12 plus 1. 13. So no, that's this, not good. this one fails. <laughs> yeah. So that one gets 22 damage. Wow. This one's 48 good. radiant. Nice. <laughs> Done. Do the other two take half? Oh, good question. Let me see. Uh, let's see. So on a failed save, the creature takes 3d8 radiant. Okay, so I have to do it. Wow, Wait, that's what? So, there's two different numbers? No, hold on. Let me read it again. An effective creature speed is halved. Um, it must make a wisdom saving throw. On a failed save, the creature takes 3d8 radiant damage if you're good or neutral. But I, I cast it at a fourth level. So when you cast this using a force spell, the damage increased by 1d8. So it's still a 48 radiant damage. That's on a failed save. On a successful save, oh, that's a failed save. Okay. The successful save, the creature takes half. Yeah. So it's 11 for the failed ones and 22 for the, or sorry, 22 for the failed ones, 11 for the um, saves. Okay. So the, so the one that didn't do it, he got 22. The other two got 11. Okay. By the way, uh, shaking it uh, seemed to invigorate it a little. So there we go. All right. That uh, is them moving. So then the one's going to uh, attack Finistel. That's going to hit. That is not going to hit. And then the other is going to attack Finn Rick. No. Yeah, wow. 23. But at disadvantage if he's grappled. Oh, you're right. I rolled two 16s, so it is two 23s. <laughs> what, what, what? And then the this next one is not going to hit. There was no disadvantage because he rolled the same thing. And then the second, the second attack, though, did the disadvantage did save you. Uh, but you still take uh, not that much, actually. And we take five. Five. Fenric takes five. And what did I say Finishdale takes? I didn't say. I don't think oh, I, I thought it was a miss for her. Were they both misses? I lost you. I didn't hear you say how much Finishdale got. 't feel like she at least took one hit from the two attack all right I'm gonna sign it because I can't remember I'm gonna say she only took five can you actually keep can you keep track of Finistel's health for me sure five, five. For okay all right guard dead guard guard that's not a guard that's Pelias. all right okay oh there's a guard down what's that Oh yeah, the one that was by me is done. Yeah, oh yeah, dead. that guy's done. Is he dead or is he unconscious? Uh, uh, NPCs usually go dead dead. Bummer. Um, Wasn't trying to kill these guys. Um, well. You didn't say non-lethal. <laughs> I don't think you can specify with spiritual guardians. Um, oh no. Well, that's okay. What's done is done. What's done is done. 
Fair enough. Uh, okay, so this. So that guard is still out in the room. I'm gonna say the door. What did we decide? That is this? Did we decide? I think the door. door outwards. Door. No, no, no. The door swings inwards. Inwards toward us. We were gonna try to close it and put the immovable bar there. Right. Right. So if the door is like that, I'm gonna say the guard outside, who's fighting Finistel, can't see inside. And there is a guard that can see, but that is not gonna stop. This thing though. Um. All right, so. Got to keep the third level. Got to keep the fourth level. Um, I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think that's going to happen either. <laughs> All right. Let's do... Um, yeah. Yeah, this is gonna happen. Don't forget, Falrith has to roll for a uh, saving throw or get for the uh, ah. spiritual experience. Very good point. Sir. Very good point. Uh, that's a six. I'm gonna assume that's a fail. What is it at? What am I adding? Uh, I don't know. Wisdom. Oh, so actually, wisdom well. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wisdom save. No, it's still just a 10. Okay, yeah, that fails. So then I do damage. And let's do some. The damage is... 20. It's awesome. Is that actual? Yeah. It's not to hit. What's that? Yeah, it's 20 because uh, he failed. All right, that happens. That oh, you're asking him like if it if it penetrated? Uh, that 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 you can tell that the spiritual guardians, the 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 devilish cherubs, sort of like <laughs> impact into nice. the guard uh, for 21 damage. And and that's going to be a um, concentration check. So concentrate. mm. for him. 13. <sighs> what is he concentrating on now? Well, you'll you might find out. Um, Whether he's got his disguise up. Uh, it's a. I think it's I think it's ten. It has to be ten or half the damage, whichever is higher. Is that correct? I think that's correct. Do you want Are me to me? Up? Let me. Yeah, yeah. Let's look it up real quick. Because okay. it is gonna matter. Concentration check. Whoever looks it up first wins. And what? I've got the book! <laughs> uh, concentration saving through with a DC of 10 or half the damage taken, whichever is higher. So 21 damage. Oh, it's no, actually, it's half. the yeah, same. It's Either half. way, concentration is held. Um, all right. So, concentration is held, that damage happens. This is all very exciting. So it was it was 20 damage, not 21. No, no, he has a total of 21 because- Oh, because uh, you hit him for the one. Finistel no. hit him for one. Got it, okay. Good job, Finistel, way to start it off. <laughs> right, yes, good point. Uh... It would have been more if it wasn't for magic missiles and oh. shields. That's okay, we didn't know. We didn't know he had a shield. I wanted to cast Fireball. Uh, <laughs> everyone will die if you cast Fireball. Not everyone. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Falrith would still live. <laughs> Where is he? the only one who would live through that. Resistance against Fireball. Alright. Um, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, 
Ah, uh, no, that doesn't make that doesn't make any sense. All right, fuck it. Um, all right. Um, Hildegard turns toward you, Pelias, and just uh, just like reaches her hand a little out, like sort of looks over her shoulder, and casts magic missile basically directly into your chest. Um, oh, ouch! Missile to the chest, huh? Multiple missiles, yeah. So. Um, so, do I have to do a concentration save? You will, yeah. So, let's see. Um, so it's three, three base plus six, six. Alright. You okay? Yeah, sorry, I'm doing math. Uh, 18 damage. 18? Yeah, as these <laughs> six missiles <laughs> patented you at point blank range, basically. Got it. Um, and... Half the damage would be nine? Yeah, the weird thing is, it's like each missile doing individual damage, technically they are... Well, ten then, right? You said it's either ten or half the damage, whatever one is greater? Can you explain that? What does that mean, ten or half the damage? Well, so here's the deal. A concentration check is required when you take damage while maintaining a spell with the concentration tag. When you take damage, you must make a constitution saving throw with a DC of 10 or half the damage taken, whichever is higher. If you fail, you lose concentration. So the problem is you took damage six separate times. So you, yeah. need, you need to make constitution save. So it is a save, so you get to add... Uh -oh. You get to add your constitution save, whatever that is. But you have to do it six separate times. He's real I like, don't think that's fair. What's that? I don't think that's fair. I think it's one move. It's one action. It's one hit. It's not, though. It's six separate damages. Read, like, read it, the constitution it, save again? What's that? Read the constitution save again? No, you just have to roll it. Six. When you take damage, you must make a constitution saving throw. Six separate missiles. You're saying that I took damage six individual times and that every time I have to roll ten or higher six times in a row or else I lose these spiritual weapons, spiritual guardians. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Mm. Let's see. I don't know about that. That seems that seems harsh. Because it's an automatic hit already. You know? It I seems know. Like, that's, it why, seems like, that's why he's doing it. He knows about magic, right? I mean... All right. Yeah, and I'm fine with the automatic hit. It's just the constitution. I feel like when you take damage, like they came boom, 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 boom. You have plus two constitution anyway. If you take damage from multiple but, sources, such as an arrow and dragon's breath, you make a separate saving throw for each source of damage. Oh, say that again? If you take damage from multiple sources, you make a separate saving throw for each source of damage. But these aren't multiple sources. It's the same source. Come from the same person, same type of weapon. So then it says, okay, well, what if it's a multi-attack feature? Do they have to maintain concentration for each time they were hit? Okay. Or only one time, since technically all the attacks came from the same source. Okay. A multi-attack is separate attacks, so you'd have to roll uh -huh. for each attack that hits. Shit. The all right. player's all right, handbook uses sources of damage instead of each time hit, because some damage sources use a saving throw instead of an attack roll, or automatically cause damage. Okay. If that's what it says, that's fair then. Let's so see. six times. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Magic missile, multiple darts that hit simultaneously. Since the darts automatically hit, there is no attack roll nor saving throw, thus ambiguous as to whether it's one damage or source of multiple. There are valid oh. arguments. There are hold on. There are valid arguments for ruling both ways. However, Jeremy Crawford rules that each dart requires a separate concentration check. As a lead what designer. Jeremy? As a lead designer, his tweets can be considered rules as written. Oh, screw Jeremy. <laughs> Jeremy Crawford. <laughs> oh, Jeremy Crawford. 
So you need to do so you get a plus two. So you have uh, to... what is it? What did you say it was? Yeah. So roll your d twenty six times. And you have to get if you get, also you get less than 10. If you, yeah. If you get a seven or lower, you lose it. And on any of those rolls, if I get a seven or lower, or just click your Constitution saving throw button six times. I know, but any of those rolls is seven or lower, and I lose. Yeah. Yep. That sucks. You do it. I just tried it and failed, but you can do it. <laughs> Okay. I mean, you got more than 50%. Oh. No, I don't. On each one you do. Yes, you're right. No, you're right. Probability. I understand. I understand. Six, yes, six, I know probability. Sorry, sorry. How do you think I feel whenever I cast a cloud of daggers and people just walk away? I got away an eight. Me? What does an eight do for the first one? Eight's okay? Eight's okay. Eight plus eight is ten. Oh, my God. No, no, eight. Eight. It was six plus two. Oh yeah, no, eight doesn't. No, you lose. You lose concentration. Wait, well, you lost it on the first one. So what, what are we arguing about? It's yeah, fine. there you go. That would <laughs> make you feel better. So that's true. And I got an eight the second time too. So wait, I had to make what a ten or higher? Yeah. Well, you have to yeah. roll an eight because you add two, so you have yeah. to hit ten or higher. So I had to get a ten or higher. That's crazy. Wow, that sucks. But I would have lost it. You're right. I would have lost it either way. <laughs> you see, Hildegard, as as the cherub, as the devilish cherubs dissipate. You see Hildegard go, oh my. <laughs> they were good for a round. What's that? They were good for a round. They were, you did, I mean, you did. Yeah, a, you did yeah. damage. You, you killed that off guard. one guy. Yeah. You did, you yeah. did yeah. damage to, you did damage to four, Falrith and three guards. So you did. That's you, true. It's, it's pretty good. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'll take it. Finistel, however, sees your pain. Uh, and she's going to... Uh, She's gonna do something better than just Eldritch Blast. She's got some. She's gonna do it's something. good to know that it was controversial though, because I did feel like it was controversial. Yeah, yeah, no, that's a, uh, yep, that is true. Um, all right. Stupid Jeremy. <laughs> Stupid Jeremy. Uh, oh, that's a reaction. Okay, yeah, she's gonna cast. Oh, she's actually gonna cast Polymorph. Really? Yep. I got it. He's gonna do that. Uh, and you see her. You see her. Well, maybe you don't twist her from so far away, but she does the motions, uh, and you see. You see how the guards sort of like <sighs> fight it off. Oh, she tried. Uh, Finn, Finn still did probably more fun on the guard or tried to. Correct. Okay. All right. Uh, did you say she healed me or no? What's that? Did you say she healed me? No. No, she did not. Oh, you I said thought you said she saw your pain. Oh, but she didn't do anything about it. Oh, <laughs> she she. I don't know. I, I don't know what <laughs> I said. Felt like she needed to up her game, so she thought polymorphing would do it. Exactly, okay. exactly. She she it. big risk, big reward, but uh, did Fair not work. Uh, Lily, you are up. Sneak is on deck. All right now. Can I move towards the um, towards Hildegard slash Falrith without attacking or without an attack of opportunity? Yes, because this person is restrained and you'll be in melee range with both Hildegard and that guard, so you'd be moving into melee range. The guard you now, were fighting is dead, so. Right, right. And so um, Hildegard slash Falrith would be um, flanked. Oh yeah. By my allies, oh, so quite I flank. Okay. Any... So then I am going to be dual wielding, and I will be attacking. All right, here comes my dagger. Come on, do your thing. Does a twenty-three hit? Uh, yes, but give me a wisdom saving throw. Oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> Eleven. Um, as you go to attack, you you see Hildegard sort of, like, give you a sideways glance, and you're, you're like, ah, and you, your attack goes, and goes for Pelias instead. No! Oh. Does, does it have to? Does it automatic hit, or is it my armor? Yeah, well, it's a twenty-three. So. Oh fuck! 
<laughs> so that, that damage will go to Plyus, but that only affects one attack. How much? I don't think uh, she's... That's going to 11. be... Hold on, hold on. Five damage. Alright. That's nice. Ouch. But I can do my other two without... Correct. Okay. If I hit. Correct. If you do your wisdom saving throw. All right. No, here it's comes. just it's just I think it's just once. Let me let me make sure. Oh, okay. Oh, don't you get advantage on wisdom saving throws? No, not me. Oh, you don't. No. Embarrassing. <laughs> okay, so my next is not a hit. I'm um, okay with that. <laughs> but I am going to uh, do my um are, are you sure? Because the armor class is quite low. 12? 12. 12, actually, no, it doesn't. Okay. Um, and then, so that was my scimitar with advantage. It would have without, without the mage armor that he cast early on. All right. Um, but I can do my second attack, right? Yep. All right. So here comes the dagger again. And that is 19 to hit. Yeah, that hits. All right, and seven damage. Okay. All right, and the concentration check passes. All right, uh, Snake is up. All right, can Snake bite Falrith while he's constricting the other guy? Uh, so I'll, re I'll read you what it says. Yeah, read me so what it says. It says, um, until the grapple, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, okay, until, until the grapple ends, the creature is restrained and this snake can't constrict another target. But can he still bite? Interesting. Uh, I think it can still bite. Um, is it in range? So the range for biting is... What's the range for biting? Probably five feet. Sometimes I can coil up and spring. It's either five or ten, so... It's ten feet for biting. Yeah, alright. Make, make, uh, make the bite attack. Love it. Bite attack is plus... I'll be right back. Plus six, I think. Oh, that's a 24 bite attack. Nice. Nice. All right, so that's a 2d6 plus four. I can do that. Two, two. Oh, that's pretty good. Plus four, that's 15. Yeah. Nice. All right, I'll be right back. <laughs> Hope it falls as a bag of tricks runs out of steam sometime soon. Seriously. Well, it seems like each round he can use his reaction to either cast the shield or the deflect. Well, we've got to remember that last time we, we beat him and he, like, zipped away. we got to try to keep him here somehow. Right, but he did dimensional Yeah, we couldn't really, stuff. like, grab onto his robe or so something. So I feel like even if he was grappled or restrained... Though, an immovable bar might, you know. <laughs> something. Let's think about something that we can do to, to keep him here when we're close. Let's wait till he gets bloodied, but when we're closer. It's just looking at the immovable rod. What the heck could we do with you? But where is that currently? Do you have it in a way where you can use the action to actually set it up, or is it in your bag of holding? Yeah, it might take me a couple actions. I'm just... We could throw him in the bag of holding. Oh, he will... I don't know if he'll fit. He has to be like unconscious. 
Plus, we also have uh, Oni Oni in there, so <laughs> well, if we did manage don't to, know if you'll fit. We did manage to polymorph him and made him a smaller animal. He'd fit a little easier. My God, dare I ask what you've been strategizing while I was gone? <laughs> <laughs> no. But but you took uh, you took damage. All right, how much, how much did he, how much did you take? Uh, eleven plus six is seventeen, I think. No, oh, wait, was it plus six? Hold on. No, it was pl plus four. Plus four, so fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah, plus four. Yeah. All right, I got him at forty-three. Uh, or having taken forty-three, I should say. Is that a lot? Great. I agree. I'm, I concur. Not bloodied. What was that? He's not bloodied. I'm guessing. Um. He actually is bloodied. Oh, nice, nice. All right, so we're close. Or. All right, we're all going to have to take one for the team because I'm going to drop a meteor on all of us. Or a fireball. What? <laughs> uh, a Gird your loins. No, I'm just kidding. Well, Fenric has to go before you, so <laughs> let Fenric try to knock Get out of the way of the fireball that you're going to cast. I, I was yeah. just joking. I'm not going to do that. It Did might I, help to do a sweet strike. On Twizzard? <laughs> yeah, yes, <laughs> but we should fo focus on Falrith first. Yeah, throw him at Falrith. All right, Finric. Hey, I'm going to hit this dude. All right. With my hand. Go for it. And so we got uh, 27 to hit. 27 no. hits? Yeah, and then I'm going to do uh, the stunning strike in a second, but in terms of damage, that's going to be 8 damage. Eight damage. And then we'll do a stunning strike. So it's got to fit. Uh, he's got to pass a con save of DC 15. Passes. All right. So I've got my second attack. We're going to do that 20. That is going to be good. Remind me what I. Uh, you double damage. Double damage. You can either you can either double the dice damage I think. Well, but it's before the plus whatever. Yeah, got Correct. it. Correct. Yeah, or you can okay. roll the dice twice, but you have to choose before you roll. Well, I, I, uh, oh. Sure. Okay. Well, I'll just double the die and I'll roll again. Is that okay? Wait, what? I'll, I'll already I'll rolled it. Double the die and I will roll again. I will discard the first roll. Yeah, because you're roll. higher than average, but because I didn't select anything. Well, or. or you can, or just roll twice. Or just roll twice. Okay, fine. Eight, so eight, twelve. Twelve damage. That oh. was pretty much the same. <laughs> you you would have gotten 16, now you got 20. Cool. So another stunning strike on that one. All right. You you see... Uh, as you, How did you hit him this time? Um, well, he's still, he's still dressed like a lady, right? Yeah. So I, I feel like that. It's like a slap across the face type thing. <laughs> wow, that's gonna do twelve damage. That's impressive. Um, yeah, this capillary is all fucked up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I do eight plus twelve. You you feel uh, you feel your chi trying to connect to his and and stun him, and you see him sort of like her sort of grimace and shake it off with a great effort of will. Um, Falrith now has legendary resistances, but you made me use one. Hmm. So that I didn't do damage? Basically, uh, legendary resistance is sort of big big bad guys, uh, big creatures get them, uh, and it basically allows them to save automatically if they would normally fail. So... Nice. Uh, they can have a certain number of them, uh, but to basically to balance this battle, uh, Falrith has a certain number, and he hasn't had to use one until just now. So you've used up but one. You're and saying he saved on a on an attack roll, basically. It wasn't the attack roll; it was the stunning strike. Stunning strike. Save. So he took damage, but we didn't get to extract. You didn't get to stun him. We already know his essence. Yeah, but you already know his. I just want to know if he took damage or not. He yes, took he damage. did. Yes. Okay. So the damage that he took, how much was that? Twelve. Twelve. I and thought then... he took 
prior to that, we took more. I forget what it was. He's, I thought it was 20, and there was 8 plus 12. He's currently taken 63 total. Was, but on the last one, Pinner, what did you, you roll? I thought you rolled twice. Yeah, the first hit was, I think, was it 8? And then the second one, the second hit was 12. Right, so is don't you add the 2? Correct. Yeah. So that's 20. Yeah, he went from 43 to 63 with a, oh, with a, 50, okay. with a, okay. with a 51 okay. in between. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, so I'm going to... Um, it's an interesting ethical dilemma. Um, not really. Uh, so we're going to flurry of blows. I'm just blowing through key points. No, nah, no, I'm going to... I'm um, sorry. Take that back. I'm going to unarm strike. Okay. As my bonus action. Okay. Who needs an arm? Cool. So that's going to be a 26, which I assume hits. Yep. And we've got a 7 damage there. All feet, baby. Oh, and actually, he's got to do concentration saves for each of these attacks. Oh, and he's not going to use a legendary save. Wait, did you do one for the bite? Uh, yes. Okay. Cool. So, so, as your last, as your unarmed strike, your final unarmed strike hits. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's flying off. No, he's changing into... Oh, oh, dun, dun, dun. Yep. oh there it is. <laughs> Wait, that's Valrus? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Valrus has gray hair and a red robe. Yeah. Yep. Burgundy robe. Red robe. Red robe. All right. So I'm going to do a stunning strike on that last hit. Fair enough. Natural pass. All right. Uh, I'm I'm done. Now has the living guard that is uh. Grappled, see yeah. this happening? Yes, the living guard that's, that is grappled sees this happen, and she's like, What? What is going What did you do to the princess? Uh oh. Um, uh, that's that happened. Princess. <laughs> um, Twizzard. I assume that's all of your things, Henry? Oh, yeah. Okay. Twizzard, you're up. All right. Um,. I'm hoping, uh, hoping he's out of his shield spells. Who knows? I don't know if I want to try another magic missile again. But I don't have all that much choice. Well, could you do... Just punch him. He doesn't like that. He's I, too far away. I'm a terrible puncher. <laughs> fog cloud make everything worse. Yeah, no. That was... Fog cloud. Oh, <laughs> Grease him up like a Monkey big. I can web him. Yeah. I don't know. He's not really very dangerous moving around. He just all he has to do is stand there and like wink at you. His dimensional door, uh, what, is this a somatic spell or does he need to like move his hands or like what's the. And I might get caught up in that webbing too. I'm yeah, let's look up dimensional door. Aaron, you have the book? Oh, sure. It's sort of cheating, but like, do, do we, would we know that? But he might not have dimensional door. Why would he have dimensional door? I said he had some like dimensional thing. We don't Not know. dimensional door. We have nothing else to go on. Okay. Wait, what are you guys talking about? No. We're, we're trying to see if we can prevent him from escaping. From disappearing on us like you did last time. Got it, got it, got it. So we thought if we grappled or restrained him that it would make it harder for him to disappear. Got it, got it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I but understand. To do that, I need to go over to Agnes. Oh, I could just look to up here. No, it's okay. That's teleporting. Yeah, that's just moving like up to yeah. 200 feet. That's yeah. not the one we're, we're thinking of. But that's just verbal. Okay. So I could web his mouth. 
Can I, you web? I don't know if I can p pick and choose the no, spots. No, I, get I webbed think up. we all get webbed up. All right, I'm definitely not gonna do that. <laughs> I have a lot of group annoyance spells. Try, try polymorph on him. Polymorph? That's perfect for your character, though. <laughs> well, you might have to use another one of his legendary saves. I mean, if I turn him into a little guinea pig or something, what's how's that gonna help? So he'll stop. Wash it. No, because then once the hit points of the guinea pig goes to zero, he turns back to Falrith. Put it in the bag holding. Yeah, just let him suffocate. Yep. Do you get? Do you want me to try that? Polymorph him. You gotta decide. What are you doing? Oh boy. But just try the magic missiles. All right, all right. I'm but just, at a lower level. Yeah, I'm gonna magic missile him. All right. So this. So I think we counted wrong before. With the fourth level, this will be third level, and so it, this should be five. five. This should be five total. Yeah. Last time I only did five. No, you did beat the first one that you did. Didn't no, no, hit him it doesn't. No, because if you look six. at the roll history, only rolled five times. No, it doesn't matter. Okay. Five. <sighs> Shield goes up. Oh my goodness! All right, I gotta know when he's out of shield powder. So you can you can you can use the other two, or however oh, many, wait. if you want to oh. hit the other guard. The one that's constrained. I don't think you can. You can't see the guard that's outside the door, though. There's too much. All right. Yeah. I'll, I'll just hit, hit that guard. <laughs> Sucks to be him. Sneak guard. All right. Let's get out of the way, you stupid thing. All right. All right. So total of. Uh, oh wait. You still have two more to do. Two Sneak more. guard. Oh, these are great rolls. <laughs> Uh, so nine, a total of nine. It's a snake guard. All right. Definitely, definitely way bloodied. Hope the snake's starting to enjoy it and think you might eat him instead. Just hold him. Just... All right, Polias, you are up. All right. I'm going to do a uh, hold person, second level, on this Falrath character. All right. What kind of save do I need? Uh, wisdom. That is a 19 I'll get somebody. Yeah, that's good. All right. You still got your spiritual weapon up because that's not concentration. Yep, yep, yep. Um, I have a beat of force. An attack on Falrith is at advantage because we got him flanked. Uh, okay, so, uh, I don't know if he's flanked where you are. It has to be opposite. Oh, opposite. Okay. I'll just do a spiritual weapon. Okay. Roll that attack. Man, I can't use this either. That would be fantastic. Uh, not great. It's a 15. If it wasn't for the shield, it would have hit, but no, it does not hit. So you see the you see the spiritual weapon sort of bounce off the shimmering uh, field. All right, all right. This guard is coming Time for a bunch of guard attacks. Oh my gosh! Nat twenty and a four. Four doesn't hit, but the nat 20 does. So Finistel takes nine, Aaron. Okay. Uh, Finric. Actually, Snake Guard's gonna attack Lily at disadvantage. Lily at disadvantage. Wow. Surprisingly, does not hit. Uh, and then this guard runs up behind Twizzard and attacks. What? There's a spot behind me? Yeah, well, there's a whole hallway behind you, dude. Why am I here? Um, 17 to hit. Oh, uh, yeah, that just barely gets me. 13 to hit. Oh, uh, yeah, that just barely gets me. <laughs> <laughs> He's wearing hammer pants. Five. <laughs> All right, five plus... Five does not hit. Five plus... Five plus nine. So you take 14 total. Oh, my body. From two separate hits. 
So you need to make two separate concentration checks. Oh, wait. Or I'm... constitution saves for the concentration check. Take away the 14. Oh, yeah. I thought there was something else that happened. Now roll the constitution two times. Wait, what's the point of this? Because... I already got hit. No, because... You, it's to it's maintain focus on intellect fortress. Oh, I gotcha. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, that doesn't look so hot there. Uh, yeah, that's a seven. All right, Intellect Fortress is gone. That sucks. Nice, it betrayed me. But now you get to use a different concentration spell. Oh, goody. <laughs> or do that one again. Uh, uh, yeah, that so was a good level spell. Well, you have ones at lower levels, right, don't so you? Those yes, are the yeah. Those are the guards in play. All right. All right, all right. Time to do some damage. Oh no. Maybe, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. That's not... it, I'm next next turn I'm fireballing everyone. We're not doing that, we're not doing that. We cannot, yeah, should we do that? Actually, yeah, we're gonna do that. Well, yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Okay, so. Falrith, uh, Plyas, you're, you're head of disguise. You're still disguised as a guard. Um, but Falrith clearly knows you're attacking. Uh, so you see Falrith's hand reach out toward your chest. Uh, and it's sort of wreathed in shadows. Uh, and it touches your chest. Um... Is Polaris a female guard? Must be. All right, call HR first before you do anything. Yeah, that man's touching that woman's chest. Yep. <laughs> uh, terrible, you're terrible. You're all terrible. Uh, the Falworth does look more like a woman, and Polaris does look more like a man. Wow, so yeah, 23, I'm assuming, hits. Yeah. Uh, The concentration. Um, okay. All right, you take twenty seven damage as. You can feel your life force being pulled out of your chest and siphoned oh. into Falrith's body. Oh my gosh. Does that mean he just got 27 points? His health points? He got some. He didn't get the full 27. I am bloodied. <sighs> and at this point, you're not sure how much damage Falrith... He still looks bloody. He still looks bloody. He looks less bloodied than he did a moment before. Um, and he sort of grins at you, and he's like, I'm not sure who you are, but I hope that hurt. <laughs> um, all right. That is going to be Lily's turn. No, Finistel's turn. Sorry. Finistel, what are you doing, Finistel? Are you going to try to polymorph again? She's going to try to polymorph again. You resist it. Oh, all for colors. Alright. Now it's Lily's turn. Snake is on deck. Okay, uh, so Lily's going to do her attack as usual. And um, she, I guess, is going to uh, I think she feels as though she wants to attack Falrith again, but she is a little hesitant because of what happened last time. All right. But I think, she's, I think she's still going to do it because she was able to at least get the second two in. All right. 
Um, but this time she's going to start with the scimitar. All right. So that's a 25 to hit. Wisdom saving throw. Um, Fifteen. Yeah, you need an eighteen. Oh. Yeah, he's huge. Oh, goodness. Uh, so that that attack's gonna go to Plyus. Ah, uh, stop it. <laughs> oh. Sorry. How much? Six. Oh, jeez. You're fine. <laughs> All right, here comes the dagger. All right. And he is still flanked, right? So I can roll with advantage? Yes. Yes, for you, he's flanked. All right, 20, but not net. All right, that'll hit. So, eight piercing. Oof. And then I'm going to strike with the dagger again for my second attack. All right, he actually has to make a concentration check, which he passes. All right, uh, 20, but not natural. Uh, yeah, that'll hit. Another, another eight. Woo! And Lily's going to use her... Um, Action surge. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let me just put this eight in here. One, two, six, seven, eight. Um, so action sh uh, surge. I could take one additional action on your turn. This could be used one times per short rest. So she goes in again with the dagger. All right. She's essentially stabbing. <laughs> 22. Wow. Yeah, that hits. And then... Damn, Lily. The damage is seven. Why don't you put your robe on? Lily found the weak spot. And does he have any concentration that he needs to check? He does. Huh? Oh, fascinating. Um, yeah, he's going he's gonna to keep it. He's gonna, I, sorry, he's going to use this. He's going to use another legendary resistance. different method of keeping track of things. That, you said that was eight, right? How much damage uh, was that? Last one? one, so it was eight, eight, and seven. Okay. How do I not have? All right, going to the back of a tissue box. <laughs> <laughs> That's how dire things are getting. Using a pencil. <laughs> All right. Uh, is that the end of your turn, Lily? Um. Yeah, because I used my bonus action. I used my um, action surge and my extra attack. So I don't think I can do anything unless it is a reaction of um, either uh, opportunity of attack or actually, is that a reaction? Opportunity of attack? An opportunity attack uses your reaction. Yes, correct. Okay. Uh, or Featherfall, which neither of them seem to be um, useful this round. So I will uh, I'll wait until someone moves away from me and then, you know, do what I got to do. All right. At the end of your turn, Pelias, even though he's not touching you anymore, you feel that same. <clears throat> and you take another 23 damage. Oh, my goodness. Oh, dude. <laughs> That's it. I'm on, I'm I'm out. You're down. So let me let me ask. Yeah. Does he get all twenty three? If does or does he only get what Polias has? Uh that's fascinating. Well, he would. He gets half. Uh, half of what though? Well, technically half of I guess what he gets. So yeah, how much how much did he do? I only had ten left. 
Right, so he, only gets, he only gets five. That's hilarious. Uh, all right. All right. I'm gonna say that. Well, the hat of disguise is the hat of the disguise, and it's still on your head, but you're unconscious. I think you go back to your normal self when you fall to the ground, basically. Because you can no longer think of the character. That's what I'm gonna rule. Cool. Yeah, it's just like a normal hat now. Your what about my spiritual weapon? It's gone. It's gone? Yeah. What about my snake? Uh, your snake is still a snake. Um, does it say what happens if you... Probably not. Hold on. I, I would assume it just does what it's already doing. Snakes away. Until it receives a new command. The Staff of the Python. On your turn... If the snake is reduced to zero hit points, huh? Yeah, it's just basically it's gonna continue to act under its thing. So the last thing you did was you told it to bite. Wait, can that guard have been doing things to break out of that? Although he was doing, he was doing fine just attacking. He was fighting each round. Yeah, he was fighting each round, so he probably didn't think he needed the break out of it. Or she, I'm sorry. Ah, terrible. Uh, all right, so that happens. Um, it is now the snake's turn, so the snake is going to bite Falrith. Go snake! Uh, can, Go snake. You, can you roll for the snake's bite, please, please? All right. Uh, plus six. <laughs> Sixteen. The shield goes up. Damn those shields. What? That means... Wait, wait. How many times can he use shield? It's, because a, it's he a level used... one spell. He probably has like sixteen level But I thought he spells. can only do one action or one reaction. So, so the right. way I have balanced him, he can take... So he has... So he, he has legendary resistances. He has two of those. He used both. Uh, but he also has uh, what are typically on creatures called legendary actions, and they reset. So basically, he can use his legendary action to do something or to use a reaction, is the way I've balanced him. And so his, his thing that deflects you to someone else, that's a reaction, and then casting shield is a reaction. But he's using his legendary actions to do the legendary reactions. Okay, because he's used three in one turn. Uh, what three? He, he used deflect on with me. Yeah. He used shield. Shield with oh, Twizzard was the previous round. Sh like shield, that. yeah, exactly. They all reset on his turn. Okay. Yep. No, keep keep right, me so honest. On, but I, so this is the second. Keep me honest, but I'm, I think I'm doing it right so far. Okay. All right. I just I forgot where Twizzard. You're saying he's out of shields. But the shield lasts till the next turn. I'm saying he's out of legendary actions oh. for this turn. Because oh. he used his normal reaction and then two legendary reactions. Oh, so now he pretty much always has a shield. Yes, you can hit him with but that. But he is using spell slots to cast shield, so he's using up his lower level spell slots. You are you are you are making progress for sure. And he's also extremely bloody, so and, and he only got five he only got five life from that, so Alright, well I'm just gonna hit him a bunch, I think. Uh, yeah, that sounds And good. now, because he, you know, he's a dude now, I'm just going to go for, like, sort of like the body blows. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> All right, so, <laughs> let's see. First strike. Oh, uh, 13 to hit. 13 does not hit. Okay, second strike. Uh, 21. 21 hits. And does uh, 6 damage. All right. Then I'm gonna flurry of blows. Uh, first flurry blow is seventeen. Seventeen does not hit. Uh oh, shit! With the shield, he he, got, he mage armor brought him to thirteen. Oh, but is he is he flanked? For Fenric, he's flanked. 
So you get advantage, right? Sure. Fifteen. <laughs> Seventeen was better. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, one his, more try. His AC with the shield is eighteen. Gotcha. Uh, nat twenty. Um, right. and I'm gonna try to stunning strike it, and I guess I'll double whatever I roll on this guy. Uh, hey, six, nice, twelve, uh, sixteen damage. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, how do you? Uh, what what type of attack is this? Uh, body blow, right in the, right in the rib cage. All right. Uh, as you do that, <laughs> of course. <laughs> um. Okay, so I can only cast that at 15. So. Uh, as you do that, you see him uh, grimace and a, uh, a, a palpable aura uh, flows around him and this, this sort of shadowy purple aura flows around him and attaches itself to you. Uh-oh. And... 20 hits you, I assume? Yeah. Uh... You take 17 damage, and you see that flow back into him, much like it did with Plyus, and he's sort of like... Comes back to life. What does that do to my ability to stunning strike him, or try to stunning strike him, on that last hit? Uh, I didn't mention I was going to do that. You can still stunning strike him. Okay. So it'd be a con save of fifteen. <laughs> Nine plus four. Oh wait, con save? Yeah. Oh no, he fails that, and he's out of legendary resistance, so he's stunned. Whoa. Oh, oh, nice. He's stunned. Oh, shit. Fascinating. His contingency vampire touch brought him back to life, but he's stunned. What was the, what was the uh, contingency thing? So yeah, con Eric. Yeah, contingency is a spell that wizards can cast days in advance. Um... <laughs> And basically, if something happens, some other level five or lower, and it ha there's there's requirements on the spell. It has to be one action. It has to be instantaneous. Like there's, there's other requirements. So basically, he had if he drops below one hit point, he casts vampiric touch um, on the person who did it. Basically, um, oh, that's cool. Okay, so stunned. The creature is incapacitated. Can't move and can only speak falteringly. Automatically fail strength and dexterity cells. Attack rolls have advantage. And it can't he can't take actions or reactions. Alright. That's yeah. Fenric's turn. Twizzard, you're I, up. Twizzard, oh uh, Twizzard, maybe you should just fight. I, I thought I might uh, run over to uh, Polias and force him to eat one of the red buns I've got. It'll do an attack of opportunity for the other guy, though. For what guy? A guard? The guy who's behind you. Yeah, there's a guard behind you. Um, yeah, the snake? No, there's okay. a guard behind the wizard. Oops, sorry. You do not want... You no longer have intellect fortress. You can always just magic missile that guy. What, what if I try to charm that guy and Falrith? Because he's stunned. Would it be easier to charm him? You, what do you say? As a I mean, wizard, we're gonna try to kill him anyway, aren't we? As a yeah, wizard, you would know that that's not the case, and as a wizard, you would know that shield is up still, so magic missile wouldn't be able to hurt him. So, charming Falrith or magic missing Falrith, not a good idea. All right. You can always press digitation. <laughs> Make a shower of sparks. Okay. <laughs> Second. Uh, 20 foot cube. Alright, so 
So if I run, if I move, this guard's gonna hurt me. It'll get an attack of opportunity. It's not guaranteed to hit. Uh, everything hits me. Okay. <laughs> but even if it does, it's even totally if it does hit him, he can still continue to move. Yeah, right? absolutely. Right, it might yeah. be worth it. I'm go look, look, before I go that far, can I force the bully to eat a red bun while he's unconscious? Yes, that would okay. be your action, though. I'm going for that. That's that's about as useful as I can be here. Okay. <laughs> Uh, wait, what do I add? And this then Polias could heal himself his next turn, this right? This would be a miracle if I don't get hurt. Is it my next turn next? You're after Twizzard. Then yeah, I could. So then that's what you should do. <laughs> hold on a second, hold on a second. What is that? I forgot what I add. I add a six. 13! 13 hits, doesn't it? Oh, it hits. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Uh, D6 plus 3. Ooh, ho, ho, 9 damage. That's all right. That's fine, guard. You're on my list. Yep. Yeah. Right, you, you run over to Polias' corpse. All right. Or not so corpse. Unconscious body. My bad. All right. right? He's still alive, man. All right. First, I check his pockets. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, then I'm no, gonna one action. Him. All right. Yeah, yeah, one action, dude. All right. So, uh, he's, I'm making him eat one of these red buns. <laughs> All right. Down to one red bun. Left. What does that do for me? Uh, it's, um, it's, like it's healing a, potion. It's 2d4 plus... Yeah, I should have wrote that down. It's, it's just yeah. a normal bun, right? My note yeah, says, just heal your ass. That's useless. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. That's really good. There we go. It's, it's the cure wounds. Um... So it's 2d4 plus 4? No, I think it's 2d4 plus 2. Yeah. Hold on, I'll, I'll tell you in a second. I'm prepared to type it into my notebook. 2d4 yeah, plus 2, yep. Yeah, 2d4 plus 2. So Whoa, this, I got 8. Alright. So you got 8 hit points, and then it's your turn, right? Uh, yes. Okay, so... You pop back up. How do I, how do I, um, I get myself hit points back? Uh, do I just do success? Yeah, just do three successes. Right. And we said eight, right? Yep. Yeah, you can set your hit points to eight. Just the fact okay. that you have non-zero hit points should take away the death save thing. Okay, so, uh, my turn? It's your turn. Fallworth is standing I in front of you, smirking at you. Yeah. Well, we're going to do a level... So, how many people need health right now? Uh, okay. Finistel, uh, Mr. Twizzard, I use a bit. Finric, do you need any Finric? I'm probably okay. No, you're good. No, no, just tell me, like, you need no, anything, no. anything at all. You're not at max. I could. I'm not at max. Okay, so I'm going to do uh, Mask Your Wounds at a level 5. Ooh. I'll put, I don't know if Falrith is going to be able to get any of these hit points by siphoning. Just putting it out there. But well, I still needs to live. Yes, that's true. Yeah, I think it helps me more than anybody else. Okay, yes. So, because of the mass cure wounds, I can also do my, my special trait or whatever it is. Um, which, so I have two special traits, and I forget how to use these. There's the Disciple of Life. Whenever I use a spell level, first level or higher, to restore hit points, the creature regains additional hit points equal to two plus the spell's level. That's, so that's all for you guys, right? That's not what you're looking for. You want to do the other one where you're divvying up the points and then you get... Well, What's the one where you get wait, healed? And well, hold on, hold on. So I think these are just things that happen. So I have Disciple of Life, but I also have Blessed Healer. When I cast a spell of first level or higher that restores hit points to a creature other than you, you regain, regain hit points equal to 2 plus the spells level. Yeah. So I think they both happen, right? I think with Mass Cure Wounds, if you're targeting yourself and others, both would trigger, yeah. Okay. And, and the first one, my question is, um, Disciple of Life, so everyone else gets 2 plus the spells level. The Correct. spell level is 5, so they all get an extra 7? Seven. 7 plus whatever Cure Wounds does, yep. Great, okay. So they all get an extra 7, and then for me, with my, uh, what was it called? Disciple of Life. Uh, wait, where was it? No, that was you guys. 
for me, Blessed Healer, I get regain hit points equal to two plus the spells level, and it says when you cast a spell of first level or higher that restores hit points to a creature other than you. So that counts for all five of them, right? Uh, I mean, it doesn't count five times. Oh, it doesn't. No. <laughs> oh, okay. No, it'll 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 activate, but it's it's because you did it for someone other than you. So it just activates once. Yeah. Okay. All right. Fair enough. All right. So let's do the first part first. So the cure all wounds, or what was it called? Mask uh, wounds. Uh, mask cure wounds. Where'd it go? Level five. Oh, there we go. Level 5, Mask Your Wounds. 3d8 plus 10. Here it comes, everybody. Alright, this is... Wow, 36. Plus 7? Plus 7, yeah. So, uh, 36 plus 7 is 43. So, 43 to how many people? As many as needed. Up to 6. Up to 6. Wow. So, so yeah, you can do your whole group then. Pinnestal could use it. I think everybody. Yeah. That was awesome. Nice. Yeah, man. yeah so what did I say? What was the number again? 43. 43. 43. So I, I get that as well, right? What does your, your, your blessed thing do? Does it do all, does it also do seven? Well, aside from the blessing, the spell itself, right? So a wave of healing energy washes out from a point of your choice. She's up to six creatures, and I'm one of those six, So you right? get 36 from that. They get 43. You get right. 36. Right. I get 36, yeah. Okay. But then you get but something also, else. Yeah, I do. I do. I get 36 plus... What was the thing that I get? Plus the spell level. Which I think is... Seven. Yeah, so basically, they get it and you get it. So yeah, you get 43. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Okay, go. So yeah, it was two... It was, um... It was two plus spell level? That's what it was? Yep. Okay, so I get 43. So you're up to 51. That's awesome. Yeah, 51. Nice. Now, the other 43, is that split among? No, no, each of you. Each of them. Okay, so then Finistel's back at full hit point. Should all be maxed. Oh, my. Nice. Nice. So, yeah, Plyus, like, pops up bits of, like, red bun falling out of his mouth, and he, he grips his amulet, and he calls upon the power of Mistra, and this boom, healing wave just flows through all of you. And you're all like, Aah! Yeah, you're right. Five times that would have been a lot. <laughs> yeah, no, I think it just triggers once. Yeah, once is good. All right. So hopefully, Paul has got a little taste of how that feels when you, you've got someone so low on health and suddenly they stand up again and they're back to... Yeah, no, he's definitely not happy about that. No, he's not happy about any of this. Um, that was my only fifth level spell slot, though. The guard is going to attack Finistel. Uh, what is the guard at? Does a, does a, does a 16 hit Finistel? Probably does. Uh, yeah. Oh, I would know that. Not you. You're keeping track of health. I'm keeping track of whether it hits her. <laughs> yeah, I'm keeping track of health. She's at full, full hit points right now, so... She is at full hit points, so that's good. Uh, 16 does hit her. That also hits her. 6 plus 3 is 5, plus 1 is 6, plus 6, she takes 12. Snake guy... Still gonna go for Lily. Snake guy is still up. Uh, oh, even with disadvantage, that is a 14 plus 6. That's a 20 to hit Lily. Yeah, that hits. It is 6 damage for that one. Uh, oh my god. Oh, no, wait. Oh, uh, does a 14 hit Lily? No, 14 does not. Okay. How do you see your previous rolls? You have to go to the little chat bar at the top. Yeah. The chat bar. It's next to campaign. Yeah, to the left of the little anvil icon. To the left of the anvil? Top top right corner of your the web page is a little anvil icon. Not very top, but maybe an inch down. Like you mean a bell? 
No, an anvil with a hammer hitting it. Maybe yours looks like Oh, really? Well. <laughs> Twizzard, does on. a 10 hit Twizzard? Uh, if it equals that, does it hit? Yes. Yes. Yes, you hit me. <laughs> okay. Well, it is. It is what it is. Uh, Who's aiming at me? Uh, this the, the guard who you ran away from. Oh, screw him, man. Get a hobby. They caught up to you. You take 16 damage total. What the hell did he do to me? He attacked you twice. That dude is so on my list. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Why is she got to do that mega heal thing again? Oh, there's the handle. <laughs> yeah, I only had one level five spell slot. <laughs> Oh, a 25 and a nat 1. I assume the 25 hits, Finric. For a total yeah, of a little bit. 8 damage <laughs> as another guard runs up behind you, Finric. Okay. Pops you in the back. Alright, these guards. Every round, another guard's gonna start coming. Alright, now it is Falrith's turn. I didn't actually think that he'd get another turn. Well, I mean, if it makes you feel any better, just stunned. What do I do after I Oh hit the no, you're right! True! <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. oh no! Oh no! Cool turn, Warren! He can't take actions or reactions! He's not going anywhere! <laughs> Oh, snap! All Wait, right! Awesome hit! Nice job! Oh, snap! Lily, you're up! I am oh, also stunned. Oh, wait, Finistel stunned. goes first, I thought. Oh my gosh, you're right. Finistel goes first. You, you have also stunned all of us. Um, Finistel goes first. What is Finistel gonna do? Finist him. Naha! <laughs> Finistel... What is Finistel going to do, actually? Hmm. Hmm. I mean, she could kill Falrit. Right? We only came here for one purpose. Well, here's the thing. There's plenty of people going after Finistel that could also hit Valrin. <laughs> yeah. Finistel. Finistel. Finistel notices the situation in the ball. And the sort of continual line of guards that are coming. Song just came up. All right. Um, the guard that just attacked Finric. Uh, hey, buddy. Turns into a cat. Nice. Um, Lily, it's your turn. Okay, guess what she's doing. She is attacking Falrith, and she means to kill. So, here comes her dagger. Dude, if Lily kills Falrith, we'll never hear the end of it. <laughs> uh, 20, but not natural 20. Uh, it's gonna hit. Uh, well, it's not crit. Mm -hmm. Seven damage. Uh, still up. All right, well, that's okay because she's dual wielding, so here comes her scimitar. And that is a 19. How do you want to do this? Oh, man. So because it's a scimitar, a scimitar I think she's going to try to behead him. Oh, my goodness. All right. Damn. It's a stab. It's a stab with the left and a slash across the neck with the right. Oh, that would be. I was also thinking of disembowelment, but beheading. 
we're all surrounding him and it would all spill out onto us. Yeah, no, I mean that's what happens. He's sort of like he, he's uh. he's standing there with this with this stunned look on his face. He takes the gut hit. He flinches. He, the scimitar goes through, and as it cuts, in only faltering words, you hear, <laughs> as his head flies off, and he drops to the ground. Wow. Well. We are okay. still in initiative, though. Right, so then, um, I still have my second attack. Yes. So, um... I probably am going to attack one of the guards that are within melee range of me. Okay, you'd have advantage on the snake guard. Snake guard, then I'm going for snake guard uh, with my dagger. Don't need advantage, I just rolled a natural 20. Ooh. So you can either double the dice roll or roll twice. Alright, um... I think I'm going to, the plus four only goes on to the total, right? Correct. Okay. So let me do two D4s. Um, so then if it's two D4, then I can actually do four D4. All right. Correct. Plus four is twelve. Alright, twelve the snake guard? Yeah. Oh, is that thirteen? Sorry, thirteen. Nine plus four is thirteen. Yeah, thirteen. Yeah, thirteen. But you got you had you had four D fours and you got nine? Yes. Oh that's rough. <laughs> snake guard is down. Now eat him, snake. <laughs> Uh, actually, it's, uh, this is the snake's turn next. Oh, and Pelias is now up and, and okay, so... Yeah. yeah, I can tell him to do something different, like fight the guard. Yeah, do you want to you wanna try... Go, uh, w there's there's a guard still in the ballroom attacking Finistel from behind. Uh, the other guard is now a cat, and then there's this guard attacking Twizzard. Oh, did you just take this guard out? Correct. That guard is done. Yeah. Whatever guard is nearest. Uh, probably Twizzard guard. Okay. Do a little bite. Uh, bite to grapple. Just a bite. All right. Roll that attack. Plus, plus six. And then Finric, you're on deck. Cool. <sighs> Looks like a uh, twenty-one. That'll hit. Okay. And then it's, um... Uh, 2d6 plus 4. Oh. Uh, 15. Wow. Alright. Yeah, I got a 5 and a 6. All right. Uh, Finric, you're, uh, so you're basically what? still, like, in the doorway. Uh, Finistel is right next to you. There's a Queen's Guard attacking her, and there's a cat behind you. So I'm going to ignore the cat for now. Can I get at the Queen's Guard that's on the other side of Finistel? Sure. You could, like, move over there. Great. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to hit him. Her. Her. I'm going to hit her. Yep. I almost feel like we should probably be trying to, like, move in so that people are not watching us fight in the corner. Or maybe, like, get out of here. Yeah, I, I guess general general ball uh, update. Everyone, like, is running screaming. <laughs> uh, Sounds about right. And, and there's, yeah, more, still, there's more... There's more... Get our amulets back. There's more guards coming... Right, right. ...from other places. Uh... So yeah, if you, if, yeah, there's more guards coming. You can see more guards coming, Henry. Oh boy. Good point though about the amulets. Yeah, where are those? 
They're well, do we want to get them now, or do we want to try to get them later? Get them now. Cool. So you're gonna attack? Okay. Are you gonna attack this guard, or are you gonna go in the hallway? What are you gonna do? I'm gonna non-lethal if we get to that point. Attack the uh, this guard. All right. I don't think uh, this guard's taken any damage yet. So. Great. Oh, so no, that's not true. It's taken eleven. It's taken eleven. I was gonna say either way. Let's change that. So did I just go fifteen, or is that a different one? That's a different one. Oh, yeah. Okay. This one's taking 11. 18 to hit? 18 hits? Excuse me. 18 hits? 8 damage? 8? Yeah. Okay. Another strike. 9 probably doesn't hit. Oh, wait, no, no never mind. Hang on. I'm lucky. Uh, 14 probably doesn't hit. No. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do an unarmed strike uh, as the bonus action. Uh, 20. 20 hits? Not on that. Uh, six damage. Okay, bloody. All right. Well, that's that's a start. Okay. Uh, and I'm done. Wizard, you're up. Plies is on deck. All right. So, so there's two guards that are being fought right now, and there's a third that's a cat, right? Correct. Okay. You're in a there's hallway. One. That extends down, and then there's the door to the ballroom there. All right, there's more coming, but we can't see them. There's more coming from the ballroom way that Finra can see. You don't see any coming down the hallway yet. Okay, that was my question from the uh, which direction if they were coming from. Yes, they're coming from the ballroom. Well, they're coming from the opposite door of the ballroom, which is over there somewhere. Off which screen. is which is uh, towards the dance floor, right? The guards that are coming will have to cross the dance floor. All right, so I'm going to cast a fog cloud in the middle of the dance floor. Nice. <laughs> I love it. All right, that happens. All right. All right, Polias, you're up. I'm going to search the body. Okay, give me an investigation check. Uh, investigation. Investigation. Oh man, I shouldn't have been the one to do this. <laughs> uh, thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. Um. All right. So. All right. So. Uh, you find a pouch uh, that has uh, inscriptions all over it. Um, you find a another pouch which seems to have gold coins in it. You're not sure how many. Uh, uh, and you feel... A a largest uh, a, a large ish size like a like a like a softball size uh, something uh, deep in one of his pockets uh, and you pull it out and it's this crystal orb. All right, I take all that. That is what you find with a thirteen. Uh, is there no amulets? It might be in the description bag. Well, you said that's what we find with a 13. All right. All right. All right. So, um, then I'll use my spiritual weapon. You, you can tell there are two things. You could probably tell real quick there are two things in the inscription pouch. Oh, yeah, but I can't open it right now because I use my action. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to say the, the, the sort of investigating the body and finding these things. Yeah. To open the pouch and to look inside would be another. Yeah. All right. So... I will use my spiritual weapon on some guard that's still here. Oh wait, did that die? Spiritual yeah, weapon died time. when you went unconscious, yeah. Right, but I can bring it back? You can bonus action it back, yeah. Let me and see it. if I have a spell slot. It'll use a spell yeah. slot. Yeah, I think I do. Uh, oh, okay, yeah. Do you want to do snake guard or guard attacking Finistel? Um, Whichever one is more health. 
Whichever one is more health? No. Uh, I don't think that the one with the snake, has he had any damage yet? Yeah, yeah snake it, damage. It took, it took snake damage. It took 15, but that's definitely more health than the other one. So, yeah. So, we, all right. So, him then. Okay. Uh, so, I think I have a fourth. Yeah, I have one more fourth level. So, let's fourth level this stuff. Um, fourth level spir well, spiritual weapon? No. No, I take that back. I don't want a fourth level. I want to save a fourth level. Uh, I'm going to third level spiritual weapon. Uh, okay, yeah, third level spiritual weapon. All right, roll that attack. That is a uh, 21. That'll hit. All right. Uh, is a 10. All right. 10 damage. Bloodied. Okay. Uh, it is the guard's turn. Uh, Fogclad. What does Fogclad do again? Uh, it, it makes a big. It makes it cloud. difficult to see. Is it heavily yeah. obscured? Yeah. I don't think you can see anything in it. It is heavily obscured, yeah. It is concentration. Because they're effectively power. blinded. Okay. And it's a 20, 20 foot radius sphere. Yeah. It's gonna last up to an hour. 20 foot radius sphere. So it's basically it's almost the entire ballroom. Well, try not to get it into the hallway, but. Oh, fair enough. Okay. That's fine. So yeah, so something like this. That was, uh, that was the intent. Wow. Uh, Fenric, a guard bumbles out of the fog and like bumps into you and then attacks you. <laughs> oh, classic. Misses though and only gets one attack. Uh, the one that is attacking Finistel will continue attacking Finistel with a nat 20. Uh oh. Uh, the other one doesn't hit. Okay, so five, seven. It's only 10. 10 damage to Finistel. Um, snake guard goes after Twizzard because he hates him. <laughs> and he misses with disadvantage. Yeah, can't hit and me. And he misses with disadvantage because of the oh, snake. Yeah. Oh, no, the snake, wait. Snake's not grappling, is he? No. No. Okay, sorry. That one hits. So five He's damage, dead. Twizzard. What? Uh, Sean, just a question. On my list too. What is Finistel's hit points? Just so I know when she's bloodied or whatever. Good. And, like, you don't want to tell me. No, 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 that's fine. Um, 59. Alright. She's almost bloodied. Okay. <laughs> and that is all the guards that could get to you. Uh, finished all is up. She doesn't have any more polymorphs in her belt. So I think she's just going to uh, Eldritch Blast this guard that's been attacking her. That'll hit. And that'll hit. Uh, a one and a two. Are you kidding me, Finis now? Wow. She does a total of three damage. Mm, very disappointing. And she looks disappointedly at Finrick and she shrugs. Um... <laughs> Uh, Lily, you're up. Snake is on deck. All right. Um, so I'm guessing that the closest guard to me is going to be the one that has the snake on it? Correct. Okay. Um, and can I move to him so that he's flanked by Mr. Twizzard and myself? Yes. Okay, so I will attack. Here we go with the dagger. Debbie, Debbie. 23. That'll hit. Uh, only five for the dagger. And scimitar coming up. 
that's a 12, but I'm going to roll with advantage. 17. 17 hits. And the damage is 4. All right. And then I'll use my second attack with the dagger. Net 20. Oh, hello. And I got nine. Wait, wait, that's that's 2d4 plus four crit, but it's... Uh... Is it greater than six? Six or greater? No, no, so, no, no, that's 2d4 plus 4, so I have to roll a d4 and add that to the 9, I think. You're going to do, you're going to do more than 6. You're going to do more than 6, they're down, they're down. Okay, yes, it's more than 6, it's, it's a total of, yeah, more than 6. All right. <laughs> All right, the Dead. snake is up. It is now uh, next to a next to a corpse. Uh, is there anything else left to do? I feel like we should try to move further into the hallway so we can close the door. Yeah. Uh, well, the snake doesn't have much to do with that. So, is there anything else? <laughs> but I'm just saying, don't set, necessarily send the snake outside unless you think it would be helpful. There are right. no. Oh, I see. There are no other living enemies in this hallway that you uh, can see. Can the snake turn into a staff on his turn, or is that on my turn? I think it has to be on your turn, technically. Okay. So, so the snake will hold an action. All right. Finrick. Uh, attacks of opportunity side. Can I run over to Polias and look in this pouch? <laughs> sure. You can just ask. Sure. I don't want to wait. <laughs> you, you can do that. You 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 will incur. You'll incur two attacks of opportunity. Yep. <laughs> two attacks of opportunity. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's totally worth it. Totally Let's worth do it. it. Let's do it. All right. You're also getting out of the ballroom, so if you wanted to close the door, you could now. So, uh, well, it, is Finistel still out of it? Finistel is still out there. That's true. And then, yeah. yeah. Uh, 19. Oh, and uh, 23. Those both hit. Those hit, yeah. Oh, <laughs> shit. Nine damage and four damage. So 13 All damage. Right. 13 damage total. As they worth, it. worth it. Worth it. You. Totally. <laughs> oh, does the person who is polymorph, do they get to try to shake that off? Hold on a second. Can they? Who's polymorphed? One, One of the, of the guards. guards. Uh, oh, man. Yeah, that was so long ago. Last up to an hour. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it doesn't, it's just a cat. It's like, it's just playing with something in the fog. <laughs> you hear a soft <laughs> meow. You hear a I'm soft meow. that it down on the ground. <laughs> Soft meowing every once in a while comes from the fog. Um, so you, what are you doing? You're looking in the pouch? Yep. Uh, no investigation check me if necessary. You open the pouch, you see inside a spider amulet and a small opal amulet uh, that you remember Finistel having worn in the past. Ooh. Cool. We, we got the amulet. We don't need to search anything else. I don't know, but we could. Now, we know that he should have a... Um, what did you find? Stone on him, right? Wait, what did you find? There are... The spider amulet and the uh, infinistal's an amulet. Oh, no. okay. We're done. Awesome. Put them both on. All together. Yeah, you 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 know he at least has a silver bell somewhere. For instance. Yes. We need to search him more. Did I add one of the other pouches? I got three pouches. You got two pouches. I got one with gold. Yeah. I got one with um, one, those amulets. One with the amulets, and then you got a uh, a a a softball size crystal, smooth smooth crystal oh. circle, ball, uh, sphere. Oh, okay. Softball size smooth crystal sphere. Got it. Fender, put his dead body in your bag of holding. Oh yeah. 
I, I think I use my action. action. Yeah, you can do that next turn. Cool. Uh, all right, uh, Twizzard, you're up. Ooh, I'm gonna search him too. <laughs> all right, go ahead. I love how like Finistel's like Finistel's like fighting these two guards while you guys are like searching the body. All right, twenty-one. Nice. All right. Uh, yep, you find a small silver bell. Oh, and I don't you, nice. and I you, know where I found it, right? What's that? <laughs> Never mind, I don't want to know. All right. Uh, hidden somewhere within his inner robes, you also ah. find a hefty pouch. A hefty pouch? Hefty, hefty, hefty. Oh, yeah. Oh, is it sweaty? No, it's do very I still, sweaty. Did, did Minrick, like, look and, like, leave it with me, or did he look and take it? <laughs> I don't know. What'd you do, Minrick? We're friends. I left it with you. All right, cool. I'm just going to keep my inventory then. Okay. That being said, I mean, that ambulance is mine, but we can figure that out later. Yeah, you, yeah, we'll get to you later. I mean, it's ours collectively, but I was holding on to it. So. Of course. Because you needed the dexterity. Of course it's ours, but it's mine. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Anything else, Twizzard, after you search? Uh, uh, no, I'm, uh, I think that's pretty good. All right. Uh, Polias, you're up. All right. I'm going to take his head and put it in the bag of holding. Nice. Just start start the process. <laughs> All right. No, just like his head, like his decapitated head. Oh, oh that's right. <laughs> you know, you know, for kids. Um. So who has the bag of holding, Fenric? The bag of holding? Fenric? Fenric. Yeah. All right. I'll just throw it in like a basketball. I'll, I'll be like, Fenric, open up. Shut the buzzer. <laughs> All right, uh, Fenric, roll it. Roll a d20, Fenric. Straight d20. Straight d20. Roll a d head. And Polias, if you're you're trying to throw it in nicely, yeah. Roll, yeah. roll an acrobatics, Polias. Acrobatics. All right. Fenric, what was yours? Two. Oh fuck. <laughs> That's not gonna work. Acrobatics. Where's my acrobatics? You just have to beat my two. It's apparently. Are you trying against me? It's not, it's not what the two is for, but let's let's do this. What did you get, Plyus? I, I got a five. Okay, so this is what happens. So you 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 pick up you pick up Paul's decapitated head, and it's like a little slippery, and you're like whoop. And meanwhile, Fenric opens the bag. He opens the bag perfectly fine, but a sword comes out and oh, no. attacks. Tim, could you please roll an attack for Mr. Bones? Oh my goodness. Oh no! Bones. Oh. Alright. Um. Because he is long past not in your control. And he attacks whoever opens the bag with that too. He's got an 11. Does, I don't think an 11 hits. So Fidrick, you're like, oh! It's just like sword comes up. And the head goes wide. Uh, so that's what happens there. Uh, <laughs> Good try, guys. Good try. And then the guards attack Finistel. <laughs> you got this, Finistel. You got this. No one, no other guards come out of the fog, though, so that's good. Um, but you do hear shouts. That one hits. That one hits. And that one doesn't hit. Uh, so two, five, and six. So 11 damage to Finistel. And then she's going to, she's going to invoke two attacks of opportunity and try to shut the door. Uh, so she is bloodied. All right. Both attacks of opportunity miss, uh, and she, she shuts the door. Good job, Vizel. And she turns around. And she's like, "Can we get out of here now?" <laughs> but the ball. We were gonna have a good time. Uh, that makes it. Lily's turn. So Lily is a okay with uh, with leaving. Uh, she doesn't know if it should we bring the body. Is that gonna like hinder our movement? Can someone carry that much? No, it still weighs like super little in the bag holding. Well, only the head is. Well, no, not not even the head is. Not no part of Falmer's body <laughs> is in the bag of holding. <laughs> Well, are. I feel like we need to put him in the bag of holding, so Mr. Twizzer, you might need to cast... Wait, do we need his body? I mean, we probably want the body more than the head. 
Why do we want his body? I don't. I, I guess we could leave the body and the head there so that they think that this person did all the damage. Oh yeah, that works. Here's here's the uh, decapitated head there. There we go. We can do that. No, he did pretty good. Can we leave a note that says I did this or in blood? I blame my my parents. All right. Do we have an escape route? I mean, are we just running to the nearest window and hoping that we can? Get out of there. So let's describe the situation. So you are in, it's a nice hallway, but you're in a hallway off the main room. Uh, this, it, it extends down. You see it turn a corner at the end of the hallway, which is about from where you guys are right now. It's about, it's about 50 feet down to a corner. There are doors um, off either, uh, actually, no, they're just off the right side of the hallway. Uh, there's two doors, and then there's one at the far end that you can see. It is lit with uh, lamp or you know torches. No, they're you know, lamps. It's we a need to find we need to find a window, there's and we need to get uh, Twizzard to polymorph one of us into a flying creature, and then Mr. Twizzard needs to use his flying amulet. Uh, still needs to use her flying ability, and we can probably get out of here. Can we just misty step? Some of you can. Mm -hmm. I think we want to get further than whatever the 30 yards is misty step can do, though. Well, I mean, we can all take a dash action, right? Yeah, why don't we just misty step through the fog out the, out the front door? Because that's where all of the guards are going to be. Well, and remember... Yeah, uh, uh -oh. yeah hold on one second. You have to see it. You have to see the space that you're going to. Where is it? What the hell? Can you misty step through a wall? Where's my... Uh, yes, you can. So let's do that. Let's, let's just get out of here, go find a window, wall, whatever, misty step through that, and get away from these guards. Wait, can we misty step through Didn't we do that with the other... Who has misty step? I do. Is that just for you, though? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think you're thinking of Dimension Door. I, this step says, briefly, surround, briefly surrounded by silvery mist, you teleport up to 30 feet to an unoccupied space that you can see. So if we can see it through a window, we can go through a door, through a wall, right? But you, you can. So, you guys are in this ballroom right here. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you were to go out the door you came in, you'd still be within the center keep of the castle. It's not like you'd be... Does that make sense? Oh, where's the door we came in? Well, is the, is the gate still open, or is it closed? The gate? So you we're came... We're close to the gate. You, you, you crossed... You came... You went through one gate, crossed over a bridge... Which got you to here. Yeah. Then you walked past this portcullis, up the stairs to the main ballroom, and right now you're in this hallway here. Right. So why don't we just um, why don't we just go find a window, and then we go to the roof, and then we we drop off and we feather fall onto an owl, and then we fly away. We can do that. I've got one polymorph. I could turn someone into an eagle. You can hear the you can hear the guards. You can hear the guards banging on the door. What do you want to do? Let's get yeah, let's run the other way. Let's go up. We need we need uh, out, outdoor exposure. Yep, I agree. Okay, from where you are right now, uh, you need you need to run to the end of the hall, and there's there'd be windows in that hallway. Can we put can we put all of the dead bodies up against the door? That's a lot of work. It's your it turn. Doesn't go run down the hallway. If you guys want to spend the time to pile the bodies. Cool. So, so it's we're, we're still in initiative. So, Lily, it's your turn. What do you want to do? But, but I feel you, like if we pile the bodies, then yeah. it'll be harder for those other guards to push the door open. But just do your do your door non-opening spell. What was that spell? It's not a spell. Oh. It's Finric's unmovable bar. Right, unmovable bar. Just do the unmovable bar. But then I lose the unmovable bar. Yeah, he'd lose it. Yeah, that's where it's going to go back for it tomorrow. All right, so oh, whatever, we'll be fine. Yeah, just save it then. What do you want to do, Lily? 
Are you grabbing a body? All right, then um, I guess I will take my um, my movement and my dash action. Okay, so you're not moving a body, you're just running? Well, I can take movement and I can move a body? Or no? You can take movement and a move a body, yeah. You'd use up, from where you are, you'd use up, you'd use up 15 putting the body against the door, but then you could use the rest of it going the other direction. Which would be the next 15. So I'd go back to the same exact spot. Yeah. Um, well, I can shoot Webb at the door. Yeah, one body's not going to stop him. I, I can web up the door. Would that work? I don't All right. Know. So then I'll just use my my movement and my dash action. To so Wizard, I think you should grease it though. I don't have my grease spell. I changed my spells to uh, what? Do some other things. You anti-greased? I did the same thing that happened to Florist. Degreased. <laughs> I have to degrease. De yeah. All right. So Lily, you run you run down the hall. Yep. I'm looking for I'm looking for windows. All right. As you run down the hall, you do see one basically. Where the hall turns 90 degrees, you turn to your left, there's a window in front of you, um, which on this level has bars, and you also look to your left, you see a guard running toward you down that hall. Oh my goodness. It's not good. Uh, and you could get there, well, from where you are, it's probably 40 feet to where you, to where you to where the window is and to where you see the guard coming. Okay. Um, um, if you only do your normal movement, you'd see the window and you wouldn't see the guard because you're not at the corner yet. But if you want to do your dash, you'd see. But then the guard wouldn't see me either, right? Yeah, you could, you could, you could come up short when you see the window is barred. All right, yeah, I'll come up short. Um, can I look to, um, is there a door that's nearby? There is. You want to try it? I might as well. It's locked. <laughs> Good try. All right. All right. Snake. Or is the snake a staff? Uh, is the snake a staff again? No, I haven't done that yet. Okay. Snake is going to, um... Uh, I don't know. Can he, is his door open or closed? I think technically the last command you gave him, because you have to command him with your bonus action, the last command you gave him was to attack that guy and that guy's dead now, so I think it's just writhing on the body. I, I thought that the, the snake had initiative, so I thought my command happened on his initiative. Well, his initiative is now. I don't right, that's what I'm saying. I don't think that's the case. Why would I give it a command? Because it wouldn't be an action for me to give it a command, right? Well, I think it is. Because then we've been doing that wrong, because I've been using my actions in other ways. Well, let's see. By using a bonus action... Uh, no, wait, that's not... On your turn, you can mentally command the snake. Okay, so it doesn't use... You mentally command it on your turn. Uh-huh. It's a bonus action to return it to staff. Uh -huh. So we could have said that on your turn when you were uh, rifling yeah. through the body, yeah, you, mentally, let's do that you mentally told it to do something else. So what did you mentally Yeah, I didn't know that could be a bonus action. Let's do that then. That's, a, that's the action. Wait, so, so it's a staff. So it's a staff. Okay, okay. So noted. You now have your sneak staff back. Oh, yeah. Um, Fenric, you're up. Twizzers on deck. Well, I'm going to run also towards the window. Okay, what's your movement? He's 45, I think. Right. Uh, well, I'm, I'm 40. Oh, 40. Okay. But... Okay. So you would you would get around the corner, and you'd see the window. You, you basically, you'd like, you're running right behind Lily, and you like, you sort of pass her, and you skid to a halt, and you look to your left, and you see a guard running down the hallway, and you see the window in front of you, and the door uh, to your right. And, and can I fit through the window bars? No, no. Not not in your current form, no. And how far away is this guard? Uh, I'm going to say the guard is about another 40 feet. It's basically... Yeah. How wide is the hallway? 
The hallway is 15 feet wide. Big castle. I'm Great. Going with it. I'm sticking with it. Um, I'm going to... <laughs> What are you? Why do you keep asking me sizes? He wants to roll, run up the walls. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna step with the wind, um, so I'll have a total of 120 feet of movement because I'm gonna dash using my action. I'm basically gonna like run towards the guard, but then divert, divert at the last minute, run around him up the wall, and then just continue past him. Nice. Oh. Okay. All right. As you run down the hall. You do notice a staircase. If you wanted to divert to the staircase. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so you're like, yeah, because because if you remember from your reconnaissance with Twizzard the Lizard, uh, each of the basically the north and yeah the north and south walls. Those the the the, the staircase going from. Staircase going from the first floor to the second floor is open, mm -hmm. and then if you want to if you want to go up to the up again, basically that's the one that has the closed door. So this is open up to the second floor. Okay, let's do that. And then uh, as I do that, can I like make some sort of rude gesture at the guard to like try to get him to follow me rather than? Uh, yes. Give me a performance or persuasion, whatever you'd like. Performance. You know, it's all that. Uh, 18. Alright. What do you, what do you do? <laughs> She's like, you, halt there! <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Um, Twizzard, you're up. Alright, uh, I'm gonna shoot, so I'm gonna shoot webbing at that door that everyone's trying to get through. Okay. Uh, so, squirt. Okay, and then I'm gonna turn and run. With everyone else. But he can only get 25 feet. Hey! 25 dwarf feet. <laughs> so what does Web do? Which are quite do? large strides, I heard. This is, this is Web? <laughs> this is Web, yeah. Alright, so... <laughs> so... So Finistel is standing there holding the door shut. Ah, crap. And you cast Web... Ah crap! Uh, I mean, do you? <laughs> want, I guess you, you you would see that, right? Like, do you want to? Do I do you... not want to rev her to the door. Okay. Don't rev the door, dude. I didn't know she was standing there holding it. She, she's the only thing keeping the door shut at this point. Yeah. But still, you gotta back up a little bit. Yeah, I mean, you could call that. Uh, right. You want to hold an action? Do you want to hold web for when she dodges out of the way? But he's running away. Can I do that? Well, if, if I can, if it, whatever I have to do to get into the situation yeah, you, where I you want have it. A, you have a 60 foot, you have a 60 foot range on web. You could yeah. take your, you could take your movement as you're running. You're like, get out of the way, Fizna. And then you're ready to cast it as soon as she gets out of the way. That's fine. All right. That, that's what I'm doing then. Okay. I mean, same goes for Plyus. He's also kind of in the way. Yeah, Plyus, look out, man. You're going to get webbed. All right. So you. Oh, me, man. <laughs> So you're 25, I guess you're there. Lily's gone. This is gone. Finric's effectively gone. You have no idea where Finric just like, <laughs> uh, This dead body's still here. This dead body's still here. Finistel's blocking the door. Okay, so, Polias, you're up. What are you doing? All right, what does it take to get this head? You can just pick it up. Is it is it near me still? Yeah, yeah, it's 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 from where it bounced off the Alright, grab the head and run. Grab the head and run. What's your running? What's your movement? Uh I say grabbing the head is an action. Right. And then running is thirty. Thirty gets past Twizzard. Alright, and then I had something for this. Hold on. There's a bonus of some sort. Oh, how far is the guard? From you after you run? Like, how far, like, can I reach him if, I, if I'm running? Oh, the guard Fenric found? No, you're nowhere near the guard Fenric found. Okay. So, just running then. Okay. Okay. All right, so now the guards are trying to bust down the door. But, at disadvantage, 
Can she do ice wall or firewall or something? Yeah, I know. All right, you see the door, and she's holding it. And after the two hits, then she dodges out of the way on her turn and just starts booking it. And that triggers your web. Go web. All right. Go so web, though. The web is now on the door. Nice. And all of the uh, dead bodies. And all the dead bodies, yeah, because it's a 20-foot cube, right? Yes, it is. 20-foot cube, yep. Difficult terrain. Oh, no. What? It says, on your turn, you can mentally command the snake if it's within 60 feet of you and you aren't incapacitated. So I probably shouldn't have had a turn when I was um, not, not like, unconscious. No, we brought you back to life before your next turn. Yeah, and, and you at that point the snake was attacking one person, so it would have even. I think Aaron's right though. I don't think I don't think we missed the thing. Okay, cool. All right, so I think it is after midnight. We're going to pause here, and just to recap, Finrick is running up some stairs. He may have aggroed the guard. We we think he may have aggroed the guard. Meanwhile, Lily, Pelias, Twizzard, and Finistel are all running toward the corner of the hallway. Meanwhile, uh, oh, and Plyas is holding Falrith's head. Um, yes. Falrith, three dead guards are all webbed to the door that the other guards are banging on. And that is where we shall pick up things in two weeks. <laughs> oh boy. Thank you all for playing. Thank you all for watching. And we'll see you next time on B&D Live.